Music Cumbrio students and families. This is a video for the piano students in the third class on Tuesdays. So in this video, we're going to be talking about intervals and specifically um, doing a little exercise to help us listen for intervals. So this is an ear training video. Um, so let's get started. So the interval is the space between two notes. So in our Faber book, a lot of us have been learning about steps versus skips, right? So steps are two notes that are right next to each other, like C and D, or G and A, or B and C. So what we're going to learn now is that steps also have another name. And the way that we find that is we start on the first note and we count up to the second note to find the distance between them. So let's take C for example. C and D. If we count starting on C, we have one. And D is right next to it, two. So the interval is a second. So this is all just a fancy way of saying that another name for a step is a second. All right, so we're gonna do a little exercise that helps us train our ear to hear what a second sounds like, okay? So if we play two notes that are right next to each other, it sounds like a car honking. Listen to this. Or another one. sounds pretty dissonant to our ear, right? So this exercise, which is in our favor book, book one, is called Car Honks. And this is all about seconds or steps. So I'm gonna show you how this exercise works and you can play along with me, okay? Let's get to the piano. And we're gonna start in C position with our right hand. So place your right hand with the thumb on C and we're going to go through our C five finger scale and play all of the seconds or the notes that are right next to each other, okay? So we start on C, then we play D, and then we play them together. It sounds like this. Then the next one, we start on D and then go to E. Good, and then E to F. and then F to G. Good, so the point of playing this exercise is to really help us hear the interval of the second, to train our ear to hear that dissonance and recognize, oh, those notes are right next to each other. There, it's a second, that is the interval that I'm hearing, okay? And that's gonna be important a little later on. We're gonna do a guessing game. So let's try this exercise again. So let's sit up on the piano, sit nice and straight and tall. Do your arm test. See if your arms are straight out in front of you and relaxed. Make sure you're sitting up nice and tall with a very straight spine. Let's put our right hand in C position and lift your wrist so that your fingers are beautifully curved, okay? And once we're in position, we can play our car honks exercise. Starting on C, and going up the five finger scale, playing all of the seconds, okay? And I recommend singing along so that we can keep track of which notes we're on. Okay, let's try this together. C is first. One, two, ready, play. C. several times to practice hearing that interval. It's pretty, pretty easy to hear because it, it does sound like a car horn honking. <laughs> okay, great job. So we're gonna talk about one more interval right now, which is another one that we've actually already been playing, but we didn't even know it was an interval. This is the skip. So as we know, 
A skip is where you skip over one note to get to the next one. So, and um, the interval name for that is actually a third, which if you, if you think about it, it makes sense, right? Seconds are right next to each other. And then the next note in order is the third note away. So for example, let's say we're starting on C, we count up to the skip away from C would be E, right? So let's count that. C, one, D, two, E, three. So that's where it gets its name, a third. Okay, so from now on, we're gonna talk about skips being thirds. That's the interval name. So this little exercise is to help us train our ear to listen for thirds. And thirds are very beautiful sounding. They're not dissonant. They sound really nice to our ear. So this exercise is called the gentle harp. And it uses our left hand, actually. So let's get our left hand in place. It's going to also be C position. So your pinky is on C and your thumb is on G. Okay? So uh, let's find our, our skips or our thirds starting from the highest and going down to the lowest note in this C position. So first we have G to E. Doesn't that sound beautiful? The next one will be F to D. And then we have E to C. And then we can go back up the other direction too. This time we're going to start on C with the pinky and go up in skips. So we have C, E, D, F, E, G. Beautiful. Do you hear the difference between the third and the second? So the second is like a car horn, and the third is like a beautiful harp. Second, third. All right, let's do this gentle harp exercise one more time. So sit up nice and tall on the piano bench, do the arm test. If your arms are bent like this, then you are too close, you need to back up. But if your arms are reaching like this, then you're too far away, you need to scoot a bit closer. But if it's perfect, then you're sitting at the right distance away. Let's put our left hand this time in C position. Pinky on C, thumb on G, and lift your wrist so you have beautiful curved fingers. Okay? And we're going to start from the top note, G, and go down by skips, and then go back up. Okay? And we're going to sing the notes so that we keep track of where we are. Okay? Let's begin. One, two, three. Ready, play. G, E, F, D, E, C. Go up. C, E, D, F, E, G. Good. So that is our third activity, our gentle harp third exercise. Okay, so now we have talked about seconds or steps and thirds or skips. We've trained our ear a little bit. We know how they sound, right? So now we're going to do a little guessing game to see how well our ear can do at identifying is it a second or is it a third? So I'm going to play an interval and you will guess if it's a second or a third. You can say it out loud to yourself or just think it in your head, but do try to guess. Don't just wait for me to give you the answer, okay? All right, let's begin. Here's your first interval. That was a second. Next one. That one was a third. That was a third. That was a second. That 
was a third. That's a third. That's a third. That's a second. Let's do a couple more. That's a third. That's a third. That was a second. That was a second. And that was a third. All right, nice job. And you can practice these exercises on your own. You can do the car honks and the gentle harp. And then you can make up your own. You can look all around the keyboard and play different examples of seconds, notes that are right next to each other, and thirds, or notes that are skips, right? So um, this was our interval exercise for the day. And happy practicing. I will see you next time.